China, iPhone ban extended to government sector. Instructed not to bring iPhone to work. Reducing dependence on US, software and semiconductors. We bring you a summary from an article published in Bloomberg. By Tokyo Express. Trade, Communication. Prohibited Actions at Chinese Government Agencies September 7, 2023 They instructed staff not to bring iPhones into the workplace. Intend to expand coverage to state-owned enterprises and other government-affiliated organizations. Expand iPhone bans to government departments that handle sensitive content. Relationship between Apple and China For Apple, China is also the largest overseas market and the world's largest production base. China accounts for one-fifth of Apple's sales. In the future, Apple's position may be threatened. iPhones sold around the world are manufactured in factories all over China. Wall Street Journal Reporting The Wall Street Journal already reported on this point. Chinese authorities intend to extend the restrictions to many government-affiliated organizations. It is in step with an attempt to reduce dependence on U.S. software and semiconductors. What happens to the ban? There has been no written notice of the ban yet. The extent to which it will be implemented is expected to vary among state-owned enterprises and institutions. We have been faxed for comment. China's State-Owned Assets Supervision Commission and the State Council Information Office. But no response. Huawei's latest smartphones. Huawei announced the latest smartphone Mate 60 Pro last week. It turns out that advanced semiconductors made in China are installed. Praised by Chinese media. Huawei has already won against tough US sanctions. Meanwhile, the US Congress has called for an investigation into possible regulatory violations. CEO Tim Cook. During a visit to China this year. He downplayed the idea, saying, CEOs see the relationship with China as symbiotic. Apple still relies heavily on China as a production partner and market for its products. Huawei, announced the latest smartphone. Equipped with Chinese 7 nanometers advanced semiconductor. SMIC Kirin 9000's chip. We provide summaries of articles published on Bloomberg. Huawei's latest smartphones. Announced the latest smartphone Mate 60 Pro. Adopts a cutting-edge product. With a circuit line width of 7 nanometers produced by SMIC in China. This suggests that. The Chinese government's efforts have made progress. Tech Insights, Dan Hutchison. I quickly disassembled the Mate 60 Pro. The terminal was equipped with SMIC's Kirin 9000's chip. SMIC's Kirin 9000's chip. This processor uses SMIC's cutting-edge 7 nanochip. A certain amount of progress has been made towards building the Chinese semiconductor ecosystem. It appears that the problem affecting yield with 7 nanotechnology has been resolved this time. For China, this product development has important implications. Improving China's military capabilities. There are new concerns that the weapon could be used to improve China's military capabilities. The United States is blocking China's access to cutting-edge technology. Doubts arose about the effectiveness of conventional U.S. efforts. Biden administration export controls. Last year, it tightened export controls to block China's access to 14 nano semiconductors. Both Huawei and SMIC were subject to U.S. regulation. Effectiveness of U.S. regulations against China Companies that use U.S. technology to supply to Huawei must obtain permission from U.S. authorities. Doubt spread as to whether SMIC is complying with this. Huawei's announcement. Last week, Huawei quietly announced its new Mate 60 Pro product launch online. There are no detailed specifications, such as processor design or wireless connection speed. At the same time, 
U.S. Commerce Secretary Raymond, who is in charge of export controls to China, was visiting China. Thank you very much for viewing. Released by Tokyo Express Channel. Hot news from Far East.